you can't read that book, the first thing you think of is Battle School, and oh my god, what's that gonna look like and how amazing it's gonna be. Welcome to Battle School. And I always had a strong image of what Battle School looked like from reading the book. I distinctly remember it did have curved hallways and the sort of gravity generating wheel concept. You know, it had the, the chasing lights that tell the kids where to go. I believe that the, the kind of cold, modular feeling of it is implied by the book. At least that's my memory of it. When we were looking for inspiration for the futuristic environments, we looked at a lot of, obviously, sci-fi movies and some of the, I mean, obviously, films like 2001, for me, are very special. Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey. Really, what, what it boiled down to was, let's not make the film so sci-fi that it's not relatable. Action! Our influences became things like aircraft carriers and military. It's a military battle school in space. And we didn't want it to be, it to be so slick that it felt over-designed. Now, that doesn't mean that the design isn't incredibly detailed. But if you look at the corridor, corridor A, as we call it, the big corridor, it's about piping and grids and things. It's not about pure, slick, futuristic smoothness. What I have here is an iPad set up with a panoramic image, um, which was rendered in 3D software, of what this set will look like with full lighting and whatnot. And we can look around that, and even though the set is not finished, we can see it looking very much the way that it will, ideally, when it's, when it's done. So here we are in corridor A, as we call it in Battle School, which is a corridor that, that curves with the overall uh, radial design of this, of this station, which, of course, is a classic 2001-type space station that, that generates gravity by spinning. So you can see the corridor stretches up. Um, and obviously, the set is still, still being built. Um, but this is a visualization that we did earlier on to show not only the finished look of the set, but you can see where visual effects is going to continue the tunnel in, you know, with a green screen back there um, in a way that you're not seeing built. But there, that's the overall effect. You're going to see that floor continue right up. And uh, we can just look around and see, have some idea of what the stuff's going to look like when it's finished. Um, but in fact, the set will look even better than this because we've added a lot of details. We were at a facility where there were, had been the assembly of rockets and things like that. The garbage was being taken out, the space garbage was being taken out for scrap. Ben and Sean saw that this was happening and they ran <laughs> to, to, to scavenge, say, can we, can we possibly have some of that? They just cared about every detail. The actors were thrilled because they were on these sets in these rooms. And it was tactile, and you feel that. It's a wonderful ambience to live in. Um, everywhere you look on set, the material, the solid material that we live in and move in and stand in, is so devoid of any softness. And uh, to have young people being fostered in an environment that's made of metal and rock is a wonderful image. They're being forged. They're being forged like hot steel into, into warriors. Essentially, you're taking an ordinary kid. I mean, he's obviously extraordinary in some ways, but having him be a bit more of a normal kid so that, you know, kids can think, OK, that's kind of the way I live. You know, what would it be like to then be, to be sent to a place where all of your belongings are of a specific type, and they go into a specific shiny locker, and you have to do this, and you have to do that, and, and a giant scary guy is going to tell you you need to maintain it this way and scrub the floor, and you will you know, respect your space and all that, which uh, you know, a lot of that kind of thing was inspired by Gavin's uh, military experience in South Africa. The, the purpose of, of, of visually of battle school is to look like a totally utilitarian, cold, administrative, technical, because that's the environment that these kids are being plucked you know, away and, and stuck into.